What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings Attic. Bring you my top picks for Thursday's main slate. All right, guys. So, picks from yesterday's video was Fuego. All right, with the exception of Fox. You know, he got hurt in the first first period, you know. You can't really predict that kind of stuff, man. But uh, if you look at Costa, uh, not Costa, uh, Harris, Gary Harris, he's at 31.75. At the recording of this video, Larry Nance Jr. is at 44.75 DK points. At the uh, recording of this video, and Vucevic is at 53.50. And Isaiah Thomas is at 30.75, guys. So those are some hot plays, guys. So hopefully you got some of that goodness around it. Like Randolph, Costa Kufas did all right. You know, guys, but, uh, you know, it's on to today, guys. On to today. So, all right, let's get into tomorrow's slate, man. Tomorrow we only got five games on the slate, guys. Yeah, I personally don't like five-game slates. So, when it's a slate that small, I tend to focus on the games that I feel like are going to score the most points as far as the overnight to go. So, I kind of stick around there. San Antonio Golden State kind of scares me. But, uh, you know, let's get into to my top pick, guys. First off, let's go with the easiest pick on the board, guys, all right? All right, just 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 play Dwight Howard, guys. Team dead last versus the center. Dwight should get about 30 rebounds. You know, I'm embellishing a little bit, but, you know, he should do all right. If you look at the splits, the last time these two teams played, he played 30 minutes, got 24 rebounds, 15 points, man, you know. I'm just saying, Dwight beasting on boys, man. So, Dwight's coming off a good game versus Philly. Well, he lit them up for 30 points, six rebounds, three blocks. So, hey. I like Dwight Howard in the plus matchup at 8.3K versus Brooklyn, man. Should be easy money. Should be easy money. All right, next up, guys, we'll go with this guy who's been consistent, staying in that same game. All right, Spencer Nidwitty, man. You know, if you look at this game log, he's getting 30-plus minutes. So, he's you know, he's playing a decent amount of minutes, man. And, you know, they run the offense to him. And, you know, he's assisting the ball. You know, he's scoring points. He's playing defense. You know, and so if you look at the splits versus Charlotte, you know, one game that they played, 33 minutes played, four rebounds, nine assists, 12 points. So I almost had a double-double. <clears throat> okay, guys. All right. So I like Spencer Dinwiddie versus Kimba Walker's defense. All right, guys. Lock him in. All right. Next up. This young man here, man, versus Miami. Again, I don't know what it is about this team, but it should be a smash spot for him, man. You know, so if you look at the game log, you know, last time these two teams met uh, versus Miami, you know, in Miami. All right, my man. Um, oh, my God, he only had 27 points. Oh, that's not good. All right, but it was another game where he went off. I believe it was the home game. Yeah, here you go. All right, check it out. Miami. He put a 58 draft king points, so you know he's been hot lately. So I like this young man versus Miami. All right, guys. All right, fire him up, guys. I know he had that bad game versus Miami, but I like I like I like him for the for the sneak. Ben Simmons. All right, guys. Next up, going back to that same game, I like Dario Sark. All right, again, look at his history versus Miami. Um, he's done all right. You know, 35 DK points this game and uh, the last game in Miami. Yeah, he put up 35 DK points. So he's consistently putting up about 35 DK points, which is almost uh, six times value here, man. So that's all you can ask for in the cash game, right? So I like Dario Sarek, consistent player, putting up 30 DK points on the, uh, on the regular. So I like him for that, for that easy pick. All right, guys. So this last one, guys. To be honest, it's a nervous pick, but he's in a great spot, man. Everett Payton. It's going to be a high over and under game. Phoenix versus OKC. All right, guys, look at the splits. 38 minutes in the last game, he put up 51 DK points. I believe he had a triple-double. No, almost. Almost had a triple-double. All right, guys. So I like Everett Payton. Again, come off a stinker versus Miami, you know. But if you look at it before that, he was hot. Against Atlanta and against OKC. So I like this as a bounce back game. You know, but again, you know, play them with caution. 
But I like I like I like, I like his opportunity, man. So if he takes advantage of it, hey, it could be a good game. All right. So that's my top five plays at the moment, guys. That could change tomorrow. But let's talk about some of the other plays that's not my top plays that I like. All right. So if you look at, I remember we talked about the uh, Golden State and San Antonio game. For some reason, I like Kyle Anderson, man. It's getting a good spot. Small four is a good way to attack um, Golden State. I guess Durant doesn't like playing defense. He just likes playing offense. But look at this, man. Two games, 28 minutes played, which is about what the young man is playing. All right. He's putting up 40 DK points, man. So a guy's 5K. If he drops 40, you're going to be sitting real nice. All right. So I like Kyle Anderson in that game. Again, I expect this game to be a high-paced game. Paul Gasol should be out, you know, just but keep an eye on it, man, you know. San Antonio is the late game, you know, hopefully we got all the news before lock, but, hey, you never know. But Kyle Anderson should be a lock to play because, again, he shouldn't be sitting out or resting in that other BS that pop pulls, man. So, all right, another play that I like, guys, going back to that other game, Kimber Walker, man, versus Brooklyn. Again, look at the splits, 47 DK points. So for eight eight point seven k guy, that's a pretty nice pretty nice number there, guys. So like Kimber Walker, but I'm paying down at the point guard at the moment. All right, another play I like. If this guy is playing tomorrow, I saw a report that says that he said he was playing. But Kyrie versus Minnesota, man. Look at this, man. Thirty six minutes played, forty two Dra- DraftKings points. All right, so if, if if Kyrie is 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 good to go, guys, lock him in. I like him at 8K. All right, another play, guys. Of course, we talked about the OKC game. Devin Booker, man, come on, man. You can't count him out last game. I think he put up like 60 DK points versus uh, this team when they last played. Yeah, 61 DraftKings points. Dude went 6 for 10 from three-pointers, man. All right. So, Devin Booker's a good play. That's somewhere you want to go. All right. Oh, another player that's a good play, guys. Carl Anthony Towns. Versus Boston, no rebounding asses. All right, guys, so if you look at the last time these two teams played, my man played 42 minutes, put up 61 draft king points. He had 25 and 23. Complete dom- domination, man. Made every one of their centers look like trash, bro. So, again, if you're playing up at center, which I'm not, Dwight Howard's my center at the moment. But quite in town, he's another another good play. All right, guys, another play from that, uh, that game in San Antonio, Draymond Green, power forwards versus... San Antonio, that's a good way to attack them, guys. You look at Draymond Green, he's played two games, average 32 minutes, and has an average of 40 DK points, guys. 16, 8, and 6. Damn near triple-double. All right, 7.3K, this guy's a steal. All right, that price. So, hey, guys, I say play that game, man, for your late-night hammer. You know, Draymond Green is pretty much, you know, a lock. And now, keep out the news, man. You never know. He might be arrested or something like that, but, you know. I don't believe that's the case with Draymond. All right, another guy I like, guys, from that uh, Phoenix game, Josh Jackson. Young man's been playing a lot of minutes and uh, putting up points. So if you look at the splits, he played 28 minutes last a uh, couple of times that these two teams met, and he's putting up an average of 32 DK points, which is great for a guy that's under 6K. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Again, last couple of games, played some stinkers. That was Miami. Pretty good defense, Atlanta. Yeah, it's all right. All right. But uh, that may have been off game for him. But, again, I like this young man here for a value play at 5.7K. Pretty good price on him. All right, guys, I think that's it. Oh, can't forget about my man, old Paulie G, old Paul George, going against Phoenix. He's going to be shooting threes, getting steals, rebounds. All right, look at that, 8.6K. Averaging around 39, 40 DK points versus this team. Again, Paul George has nice upside, man. If he can get that three ball dropping, you know, it could be a good day for him, man. So, uh, Paul George is another person I like on the slate, guys. If you don't want to play up for Westbrook. And hopefully I don't have to tell you guys to play Westbrook, man. Come on, man. Every time Westbrook plays Phoenix, he kills them. So, hey, I know he's 11.8K. But come on, man. Look at his damn. He averages 7 DK points versus this team, man. 70. 7 0 almost. Come on, man. Russell Westbrook. Come on, guys. If you're paying up for anybody, this is a guy you want to pay up for, man. I'm just saying, here you go, right here, guys. He played 40 minutes, put up 43 points, 
14 rebounds, eight assists, a block. Just 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 acting just acting the fool, man. You got like West Westbrook versus versus Phoenix, man. That's like easy money, man. It's like easy money. All right, guys. So that's all my top plays at the moment. All right. Anything can happen tomorrow. Keep your eyes on the news. All right, guys. But again, five games slate. Make sure you practice good bankroll management. Don't spend all your money. Play it all in one night. Stick to about 10% of your bankroll. That way, if you lose tonight, you can play tomorrow. But if you play 75% of your bankroll and somebody is scratched, okay, like Fox was today, and you just lost 75% of your bankroll, you can't get it back. It's gone. All right? So, all right, guys. Good luck on tomorrow's slate. Hopefully, you've been playing these five picks. All right? And hopefully they're helping your cash. Let me know how you're doing in the comments, guys. If you enjoyed my video, enjoy my content, please like it. Hit the smash of the uh, like button for me. All right. And also share the video too, guys. You know, and uh, subscribe so that way you can be notified when the video posts. You know, click that little bell icon so that way you get the updates. And um, I'll holler at you guys tomorrow, man. Good luck.